turn your pool and backyard into an outdoor oasis. We'll show you how easy it can be. Ever hear of upcycling? Today we'll show you how to upcycle those old wooden items around the house and make them into something best called an upgrade. First time home ownership can be a scary proposition. How do you get a mortgage? Today we get with mortgage experts and see how one couple acquired their first home. This is the show all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. We are Designing Spaces. Restoring old furniture and wooden items found around the house not only is fun, it's very rewarding when that old piece that you're ready to throw out gains a new life. To see how it's done, take a look. When you think of recycling, you may think of so many things, from bottles to cans to just plain helping the planet. And today on Designing Spaces, we're going to add a little twist to recycling. We're going to talk about upcycling, and we're lucky enough to be here with Kent Hartpool. Kent is with Woodcraft Supply and is the resident expert on upcycling. So Kent, what exactly is upcycling? Upcycling is taking anything that's broken or no longer usable and repurposing it or fixing it up and making it useful again and keeping it out of the local landfill. That sounds like so much fun, but is it going to be a lot of work? No, there's a misconception that it is a lot of work. Sometimes it can be, but mostly it's just plain fun. I like fun, so how do we get started? Well, we picked a project. We're going to turn a pallet into a simple shelf. It's really easy. There's not a lot of work to it. And it's a lot of fun. Let's do it. OK, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the pallet okay. in a specific location. We're going to cut it right here. We're going to cut this board, this board, and this board. We're going to use a handsaw to do it. You can use a skill saw or a saber saw. You want to make sure there's no hard tacks, nails, anything metal when we cut. Okay, and this is going to become our shelf. And that's going to become our shelf. Great. OK, this is what you end up with. This is a basic pallet shelf. We've taken another board off of the pallet, and we put a base on it. OK. So it'll hold objects. So now we're going to sand. How much sanding do we need to do? Not a lot of sanding at all. Here, I'll give you this piece of sandpaper. Can you it. can help me. And we're just going to round some of these corners off. OK. And take some of the loose pieces of wood off. finished sanding, what comes next? Now we're going to paint. Paint, OK. Well, what kind of paint do you use and how many coats? We're going to use a product called milk paint. It comes in a variety of colors. It's really easy. We have two varieties at Woodcraft, powder that you mix with water or one that comes pre-mixed. And it's really easy to use. It's not toxic, no protective equipment involved, low fumes. You can do it in the house, outdoors, whatever. Sounds good. I am armed and ready to paint. All right, we're going to paint. Uh, you'll notice the brushes are bigger than the opening of the can. Okay. So in order to keep your brush clean and the can clean, push your brush against the side and then dip it in the paint and wipe off the excess. Like this? Mm-hmm. Perfect. Okay. Okay. I can do that. This is a indoor-outdoor acrylic. It's very environmentally friendly. No fumes, non-toxic, uh, indoor-out. So you can use it indoors or out. It holds up nicely under weather. You can use multiple colors. You can do a base coat, one color, and a top coat, the next color, or you can just leave it one color. Neat. This is the milk paint. This is a milk paint. This is a lot easier than I expected. Oh, it's really easy. It's a lot of fun. This is actually kind of a perfect kid project. Yeah, because... they would love it. It goes on very smooth. It's very easy to do. Yeah, it does. There you have it. It's done. This was so great. It was fun, it was easy, and it looks amazing. 
Yeah, it's a great project for the entire family. It's fun, it's easy, it's fast. It really is. Thank you so much. Oh, you're so welcome. Do you guys have a website where our viewers can go and learn more? We do. It's woodcraft.com or you can visit a local woodcraft store. And we'll have links to that website on designingspaces.tv where you can view this portion of the show again by simply clicking on the appropriate video. For Designing Spaces, I'm Alian. We'll see you next time. So this is it. It's yeah, done. this is really easy. I love it. It'll be dry to touch in about an hour. It's great. From turning your backyard and pool into an atmospheric oasis to getting a home loan for the first time, or even taking that old piece of furniture and giving it a new life, it's all about lifestyle goals that enrich and empower. We are Designing Spaces. For more information about anything you've seen on today's show or to find out how to be part of the show, log on to designingspaces.tv. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.